Hey guys, I just want to do a quick explanation of how to do the water extended super slide in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So this is what it looks like. This is the goal. We're basically riding the slide out backwards all the way up into Kakariko Village, completely missing the dialogue from this owl, which otherwise, let me show you what we would otherwise have. So otherwise, you'd have something like this. If you just were to do the back walk, if I can get the right angle here. There we go. So if you were just to do the back walk into Kakariko, this is what you'd have. Oh! This long dialogue that wastes quite a, quite a large amount of time. So instead we do that super slide. Demo it one more time for you. We'll get up here on this flat area. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You're considered busy by the game because you're in this sort of backwards, half walking animation. So the owl never actually, his cutscene never actually triggers. So let's learn how to do this. You're gonna get out of the water and you're gonna start running towards this fence, walking parallel to this shoreline over here this really harsh line, you want to be running parallel to that towards this fence. As soon as you feel like you have that angle, you're going to just turn backwards 180 and Z-target. Then you're just going to start walking backwards all the way up the fence, all the way up the fence, all the way up the fence, until you get to this top section here. You want to feel pretty high, but you don't want to feel so far back that you, know, you can start seeing this line on the ground in front of you. You really don't want to be that far, okay? So let's uh, reload this, okay. So we get parallel to the shore, oh that was a bad angle, there we go, that's better. Okay, Z target, and we walk back against this fence, until we get up here, this is about all you want to see, and you're going to side hop to the left, followed immediately by spamming the B button to hit the fence with your sword, which is going to look like this. And you'll hear that clunk from the fence. That's what you need to hear. Alright, the whole point of this is to get to Kakarigo before, before nighttime. That's the only goal here. So we get up here, we just barely get on top of this flat land. We're going to side hop over immediately do the sword slash and this is where you're about where you should end up somewhere between here and over in here basically you're going to be facing this way and then it's going to start doing this super slide backwards if after you do that slash you hold the controller in what's called s position ess extended super slide position and if you're thinking of your control stick as being 0% when it's not held to any direction, and 100% when it's all the way to the left or right, you're going to want to be top about between 10 and 20%, okay? And what that looks like for you is just enough so that if you Z-target and release Z-target, Link sort of does this side turny thing, but he doesn't start walking. And eventually, if you leave it there long enough, the whole camera is kind of kind of just do this crazy spin thing. All right, so you Z target. He'll be walking a little bit to the side. You un Z target. All he does is turn. And then after a moment, the camera starts to turn with it. Okay. So that's what S position feels like on the controller. So let's just go up here and do that again. So you Z target. He's gonna be walking just a tiny bit to the side. You let go, and he'll do his little turn. And that's all you want. If he starts walking, so for example, if you have it held too far, he'll start walking. That's how you know it's too far. Not enough if you let go and he does nothing. But if he's walking a little bit to the side, when you let go of it, it's going to work. It's like the point at which he just barely starts to walk to the side right there. And you can do this 
in either direction also, okay? So I let go here. This is S position to the left. But for this trick, we actually need to do it to the right. Now, the last part of this is, well, when do you hold that? You're holding Z the whole time after you line up with this fence and start walking backwards. Z never gets let up. But basically, you get up here, right about there, you feel it kind of snap around the side of the fence there, and that's exactly where you want to be. After you hit your sword, you need to have S position held the whole rest of the way into Kakariko. Alright, so you're going to side hop, immediately slash, and now S position is being held. I accidentally let it up there, and you can see I started to slide, and then it stopped. So you need to have it held the whole time. So let's do this again. Backtrack, just until we get up onto the hill where it snaps. Boom, right there. Oh, that's a little too far. Side hop, jump slash, hold the S position. Now when you get to here, you can release and retarget Z, so he changes his angle on the stairs a little bit, and that'll get you in a little bit faster into Kakariko. And as you can see, the Kukos are still out, so we can still do the trick to, whoops, to get the bottle. So you don't want to get here too late, and that's the whole reason why, if you just do the owl dialogue, like I'm going to swim over here. It's going to be close. We'll see if we can get there beforehand. Whoops. I messed up my Z target. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Let me try this again. I don't ever use this tactic. I just do the extended super slide. Alright, so you get out of the water. Start walking backwards. Everything's great, but you gotta go through this dialogue with the owl. There's no way to speed up this text. Do you want to hear what I said again? You actually have to physically go down to know. And then he gives you even more dialogue. Time, time, time being wasted. Then you gotta watch him fly away. And then you can continue. Oh, see, I just barely missed it. I probably could have made that, but it's just so much easier if you do this trick to use this extra momentum from the hit slash the getting out of the water to get you all the way up there in literally, like, half the time. Like, it's not even a, a question of if I'm going to get up there before it's nighttime. And I can even just, you know, dilly-dally for a while beforehand. Alright, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it uh, informative, hopefully it clears up some stuff for you about what exactly Wes and S and S position and all that stuff is. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.